Hi, good day. Today I would like to show you, share with you something I learned. Right, this is about how to create a year-to-date sales. So we have a total sales, and uh, in pivot table, the, this is uh, basically total sales by months, right? So there is so and so, right? So this month name, and um, in the power pivot, right? You you just can't. You just can't do that um, to group it. There's no grouping feature, but Power Pivot has a new feature right where you can actually create a link table. So link table. So um, you just need to drag the my name here. So um, there you are. Right next, um, you can even have uh, week numbers. Okay. Right, which is our uh, that is a limitation from a pure table, right? You can't find the weight numbers as easy as this. And uh, you can't get that. Um, and there are lots more, right? So uh, let's talk about one measure, right? We talk about uh, how to create a, an accumulated sales, right? So you can right click in pure table, you can right click, choose uh, show value as, and choose running total in money right and click OK so that's the running total okay or accumulated sales from month to month so you can also call it year to date uh, now I'm going to change that no calculation I'm going to create a power pivot version of year to date so I'm going to choose uh, sales I'm going to create call it total sales year to date so uh, in any business, right, I'm quite concerned about what's the sales up to now. So calculate and um, talk about the total sales. Okay, so it's going to be something from total sales. And uh, you only want to show something, right? So here we have a new DAX fun uh, fu functions, right? This is called dates, YTD, year to date. And the date is getting from the calendars table from the dates view and uh, this is the first one okay calculate and uh, so this is the sales we'll create this okay click OK so I just created a total sales year to date um, it's just like what you do here in um, pure table so they are the same see they are the same okay so then why do we need to take such a trouble to do that well um, that's because that so not all companies their fiscal year is from January to December right so that we want to use power pivot okay so the power pivot this is the way so I got that total sales but it's on the focus fiscal year to date and here we type calculate and um, total and date uh, YDD calendar and um, 06 06 which is on the 6 so let's say the this company is actually um have the have the uh, year end the fiscal financial is ended at june 30 then uh, this is uh, a way to do so right, and click okay Okay, so uh, you notice that uh, that the value here, see the value here, July, right? Until July, June, then start from July because it's the beginning of the new year, so it's recalculate again, right? So that is um, a function of using the debt YTD, right? It can control uh, the fiscal, and um, not only that, right? 
you can also drag the week number of years dragging here and uh, you can even go further to take a look at if it's on the month on the first month right what does that means and so on it's pretty powerful right um, this is just the beginning thanks for watching